everyone, and thank you for watching this video. For my viewers in the USA, I hope you all are staying warm with all this freezing weather. Before I get started with this video, I am so happy to announce that I bought new tools for my dot paintings and they look amazing, so this is going to be my first time using them. Today's video was a request, and while they requested I do a green dot painting, I thought I would add some more colors inside of it, such as yellow and blue. As for my background, I decided that I would do black instead, so to get started, I'm just going to add some black paint to my palette and use a flat brush to paint the entire surface of the canvas. As always, we want to find the center point, which is fairly easy as you guys can see. Once we have our center point down, we can go ahead and paint on our first dot with my drill bit. Afterwards, I'm going to use the second smallest of my new tools and paint dots around the circle, starting with the cross points first. Once you have the first row of dots completed, you can also add a second row of dots in between the gaps and in my opinion doing this will really help your canvas stand out so if that's what you would like to do you can definitely add a second row of dots in. Alright, so the first color that we're going to be working with is a neon green and I'm going to dilute it with white. And normally when people first start off their paintings, they start with lighter colors first and then they slowly make the colors darker. And this will give your painting a gradient effect and almost dimensional look and it's really, really pretty. But you can completely do it the opposite way if you'd like or however you would like to do it. My opinion is to just experiment because the more you experiment, the more you the more likely you are to find a really unique way of doing something, so definitely experiment. So here, to really make it stand out, I'm just going to keep adding some white in after my row of green. And then as I go on, I'm going to add about two dots to the green paint, two dots of dark neon green paint. And that's going to make the paint darker, and then I'm just going to add it right over the green dots we just completed. And then I'm just going to repeat the process until the green is dark enough for me to add in another green. Alrighty, so we've reached a point where I can start using a different color, so I'm going to use a dime size of regular green and add some yellow over it, and this will give us a fresh green, which is very nice actually. I'm going to lighten this color up with some white because it still has to blend in with our center point, and because I still want it to blend in with the neon that we have, I'm going to add a little bit of that neon into it as well, and hopefully these two colors will look somewhat as if it gradients into it very nicely. Afterwards, I'm going to use a bigger tool and I'm just going to add those dots right in the spaces that we have. Now I'm going to add some yellow paint to our palette and I'm going to walk the line over the green dots we just did. And for those of you who are just starting to watch my videos, walking the line is fairly simple. You just simply create a big dot on the center top of your dot and then you slowly just work your way down around the dot, which makes the dots smaller as they go. It's a really, really nice effect. I'm then going to add some regular green back to the green we just worked with and this is because my colors are going to get a little bit bolder and darker as they fan out and I'm going to use a bigger tool and I'm just going to pop those in right into the spaces that we have. Trying very very hard not to mix with the yellow. And then afterwards I'm going to do the same thing that I had done with the row before that. I'm going to walk the line with some yellow. You know, it's very, very easy to get frustrated when you do these kind of paintings because you see the dots and they're supposed to represent something perfect in my opinion. And so when you see your dots not coming out right or, you know, it's just not evenly proportioned, it can kind of be frustrating. But at the same time, I believe something like this is supposed to be extremely fun. So if you see that your results aren't coming out the way that you want them to come out, just take your time and understand that these things take practice. You know, not everyone has the steadiest hand or an eye of good perception. So just go with the flow and have fun. Now I'm going to be using a much bigger tool and I'm going to put some yellow in. My goodness, that really does pop and stand out. It looks nice though, I have to say. And I'm going to finally use that blue and make it lighter with some white. And I'm going to stick some small dots right between the yellow dots that we just did. Looks very, very nice from here. <laughs> 
So I've gone ahead and darkened up that blue by adding two more dots of regular blue to it, which makes it darker. And using a bigger tool, I'm then going to add the dots right above the smaller dots we just did. Since there was some space right here, I decided that I would fit in some white dots, and it was kind of tricky because some of the big dots weren't positioned evenly, but I managed to get the job done. Afterwards, I cleaned my paint palette and I added some regular blue to it, and for this part, I'm just going to put a big blue dot right above the yellow dot we just did, and then I'm going to walk the line in a way, and I'm going to add smaller dots that connect to these dots, and it's going to create somewhat of a pointy petal shape. Using the same blue, I'm now going to move on to my drill bits and I'm going to add a dot right in the spaces that we have. And even though I have my new tools for my dotting work, they don't come in the sizes that I want them to come in, such as the bigger sizes. And that's the one thing that I like about the drill bits is that they come in a variety of bigger sizes. So I get the best of both worlds. Now, in all honesty, I really didn't like how the neon in the center looked. It just didn't fit with the other colors that I had. So I'm going to be using some regular green and I'm just going to cover up the entire center point that has the neon green inside of it. Starting with the light green and then working my way into darker greens as you guys can see. Just before we get to the last row of the neon green dots, I decided that I would add some yellow in with a drill bit. And I did this because we had big yellow dots and they were really, really bright. So I decided that the center point needed a little bit more balance and we needed a little bit more of the yellow. So I decided to add that in. And then the last row of green dots, I decided to make them darker. So I went ahead and covered those up as well. Now we can move on and I'm going to use some white and I'm going to lighten up the blue that we have. And now we're going to go back to those blue dots that we originally made before. And with the new paint that we have, I'm going to walk the line over these dots. And once I have one row completed, I'm going to lighten up that blue again with some more white. And I'm going to add another row of walk in the line dots over it. Now I'm going to go steal some of that dark green that we have and put it in its own palette. And I'm going to lighten it up with some white. Once I have the color that I want, I am then going to add some yellow into it making a yellow green. I absolutely love this color. I'm going to leave that to sit for a while and going over the dark blue dots that we have, I'm going to use the light blue and put some light blue dots over it creating a very nice glow. I think white and yellow go really well together, but that's only because I don't really know what other colors to use. So if you guys have any suggestions as to what colors I should use, feel free to let me know because I'm trying to experiment here. Once I have those dots done, I am then going to go back to the green that we made earlier. And in these dark little spaces that we have, I'm going to add it because I thought that we needed more green as we fanned further out onto the canvas. So I was hoping that by adding some green here, it would make a little bit more of a balance with the green, the blue, and definitely the yellow. Using that same green, I'm going to go back to the dark green circles from our center and I'm just going to go ahead and lighten them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and lighten that green up and I'm going to add some lighter dots to the other green dots that we have in the center. And I don't know if I've said it before, but this is basically what dot painting is all about. You first create your base dots first and once you're satisfied with your design you can then go over it with other lighter colors of your choice if you want to but if you just want the a single color dot painting you're welcome to do that if you want to. I already made my center point which is green and since I saw some space here I decided to go over it with some of that yellow green that we had made before and I think it added a nice effect honestly. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're closing in on this project, but the only thing that we have left to do is to seal it in. So I have some Mod Podge here, and I've diluted it with some water, and you want to dilute it with water, otherwise your painting it will come out with streak marks, and it just won't dry as fast. Afterwards, it's going to look like this, and I'm really, really happy that it came out this way. I think it looks great, although it probably could use a little bit more green. If you guys are interested in buying any of these paintings, you can find my Etsy page in the description below. Also, if you guys have any suggestions as to what you would like to see me draw, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to make a video on them. I want to thank you guys for your support, it really means a lot to me. If you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my other social media links such as Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. You guys can get live updates from me there. Thank you guys for your support, and I'll see you soon! Bye!